So let's make things a little easier to see. I want to test out my script pretty easily. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is actually going to be getting rid of the trigger box from my level blueprint. And that'll just make it easier for us to see where the class blueprint is. Now in the class blueprint, here are all of the details and you can see that they've all got this rendering visible button. So I can uncheck that for the text and I can uncheck that for the light itself. Now again, fun thing, when I compile and save, you'll see that that automatically updates in the scene. Fantastic, so I know that this is working. I'm going to move from the viewport over to the event graph, and here on the event graph, let's start the easy way. Uh, first, I'm going to right mouse drag to move the intro nodes just off of the screen so I can forget about them for a little bit. And then I know that I want to deal with the visibility of my help tip and my point light. So we'll do the help tip first. I'll just drag that in here. Uh, there it is, there are all of its things. That was a left click and drag. And now I can use the same context menu sensitive thingamahoosers to create a new node and we'll do that very same toggle visibility. So there's the visibility. And now I've got my box collider. So I've got it selected. I can right click, add event for box collider, collision. And again, we'll do a begin overlap and we'll do, oops, let's select that again, right click, add event, collision, and end overlap. So we'll just set these up so that they go into the toggle visibility. Uh, we'll compile. I will move this down. And now when I play, what I expect to happen is that when I move in close to the candle, I can see the text show up. And the same thing here. And of course, when I move out of the trigger box, the text goes away. So that's perfect. I can only interact with the trigger box. Lovely, that's just what I was hoping for. So, so far it's basically just like what we did with the level bl blueprint, except in this case it's attached to specific objects, which right there is incredibly helpful. But let's go a little bit further. We know that the other thing that we want is that when the player presses F inside the trigger box, the light will turn on and off. This is going to be a little bit more exciting because the first thing that I need to do is not just pull in the light and pull up its toggle visibility, but I need to be able to access key presses and I need the trigger box to acknowledge when the player is in the trigger box and when the player is outside. So I need to make that a little bit more public. So at this point, I've just checked to make sure that my script is working. I've got everything I need in the graph. I'm going to pause here and in the next lesson, I'm going to add the nodes that will allow the player to interact with the light via the keyboard.